away. We're here to answer some of the questions about what is the name of some of the cookware that we use in the kitchen. Uh, let's identify this as a saute pan and this as a saute pan. Now the manufacturers, of course, will call their cookware all kinds of different things. That doesn't make it what they call it. And a lot of that has to do with how it's marketed and sold. This, for example, is being sold as a saute pan and it can be used as a saute pan, but it's really almost like a shallow uh, braising pan, a smaller version of this, which we're going to get to in a second, okay? So, this would be the definition of a saute pan. Saute pans are specifically designed for sauteing things, okay? Which is what these are more designed for than this, okay? All right. You never want to confuse a saute pan with a saucepan. These are saucepans. And they're called saucepans because they are stovepipe. They are not tapered. Stovepipe saucepans, which were designed by the French, are specifically made this way so that the sauce can have turbulence in it and that the scum can be removed along the top of it and that it's taller than it is wide. And that's why the scum and uh, insoluble particles that come to the surface of, of sauces and stocks that are cooked in these small saucepans from time to time um, that's why it's designed that way. So this would be a saucepan. So the word saucepan should not be confused with anything else. They always look like these, more or less. Maybe a little bit taller, a little bit more narrow, a little bit bigger, but they're still saucepans, okay? This is what I would call a small braising pan, and it's sold as a saute pan. The reason I call it a small braising pan is that you can put a lid on this and you can, it's deep enough and wide enough to put different kinds of foods like asabuco or small pieces of tough meat that need to be braised. And you could saute in it, okay? Now this is a, quote, stock pot. This, of course, is a small stock pot. One might call this a soup pot, but it's literally referred to as a stock pot based on its shape. Okay? Now this is a larger version of the same pot. You see? This is for making more of whatever you would make in this. These are both called stock pots. Okay? Now this item here, which is a very versatile item, has two specific names in French. This is a French design uh, piece of equipment here. It's called a soutois or a rondeau. R-O-N-D-O-E. And um, this is a, a great piece of equipment for brazing and also, and uh, these, this item obviously comes with a lid for that purpose, okay? So those will be the basic pieces of stovetop cookware right there in a nutshell. They always remember to make the distinction between saucepan and saute pan. There you go.